Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, my friends. Welcome for another edition of the video productions by the Ortelino Company. Well, and I'm your host, Dieter. I'm the owner of this little family company located in southern Germany, in Bavaria, near Munich, Oktoberfest, and, and so on. But we're not talking about Oktoberfest today. Um, these videos are always about art prints, usually about Japanese prints. And today I want to talk about two very rare and valuable woodblock prints by a famous Shinhanga artist, by Hiroshi Yoshida. Uh, you see, the first print in the background, Fujiyama, the famous Mount Fuji, seen from Lake Kawaguchi, uh, a view in the winter, probably the lake is still covered by, by ice. And the other one, that is huh, a night scene of the Taj Mahal. Taj Mahal is in India and he was a Japanese artist from Japan. Okay, and this is an interesting story. And in this video, I want to embed these two prints a little bit into the biography of Hiro Hiroshi Yoshida, because I think it's quite interesting, the story behind it. I hope you can recognize it a little bit. Well, it's a night scene, and here with this TV screen, that's a little bit difficult. So always take a look at our auction catalogs. There we have pretty, pretty good images. But now let's uh, begin with this Fujiyama. Fujiyama in winter, my friends. Well, um, this one is from a series. Fuji UK in Bavarian style Japanese. Excuse my Japanese. In English, something like 10 views of, a Mount, of Mount Fuji, so a series. And there's something special about it. Shinhanga prints are normally a little bit like Edo and Meiji prints. They have this typical Oban size, but this is a large print, and that is unusual for Shinhanga prints, and that's also one of the reasons why it's expensive and why it's rather rare. What had happened? Yoshida had obtained large printing blocks of mountain cherry um, wood, and already at his time, well, these blocks were rare and also expensive for Yoshida. Um, Yoshida created this print in 1926 and well, it's, it's signed, it has the Yuzuri seal, not going to explain that now. Collectors of Japanese prints know what the Yuzuri seal mean and it's all well described by my wonderful Japanese wife Yori in the auction catalog, so please refer the, uh, to the catalog. I now want to tell you a little bit the story behind it. Um, what was in 1926? Then Hiroshi Yoshida was 50 years old. And um, when he made his first woodblock print, I don't know precisely at the moment how old he was, 45 already or 47, already rather old, because he was originally a painter and he was a very successful painter, but he did not start his career as a printmaker. And when he began to make the first um, woodblock prints, he cooperated with Watanabe Shotsaburo. The, this was the famous publisher, print publisher in, in Tokyo. And now we have to go, we are in the year 1926, um, we have to go back three years earlier, 1923. In September of 1923, Something terrible happened. It was the Great Kanto Earthquake, which destroyed uh, Tokyo nearly complete, had a devastating um, toll on, on, on Japanese people, terrible. And also the print shop uh, of Watanabe in Tokyo uh, was destroyed and with this print shop, also the, the, the blocks. And for the artists, it was a devastating situation. Hiroshi Yoshida and his family, they survived. 
However, um, the future looked rather gloomy. The Kanto earthquake it was in, in September 1923, and in early 1924, Hiroshi Yoshida and his wife Fujio, they decided um, to make a journey, a business uh, journey, to the United States. Hiroshi Yoshida was there before and already had some connections and he had hoped um, to not new business ties in the USA to sell his paintings. And fortunately, he also took a, a bunch of prints uh, with their luggage. And um, when they were in the US and they stayed there for quite a while, um, they made uh, an unexpected experience. The Americans were not so much interested in their paintings, but there was a lively interest in these prints. Uh, and um, Hiroshi Yoshida um, had not only taken his own prints, also artworks by, by other artists to support them. So um, they returned, Hiroshi Yoshida and his wife Fuji, Fujio, they had returned from this business trip, which they began in 1924, in August of 1925, August 1925. Of course, um, that time, <laughs> no way um, to go home by, by airplane. You had to take the ship and uh, the ship took them via Europe, where they made a stop and visited Switzerland and also Italy. And there the artist Hiroshi Yoshida made sketches in Switzerland and also in, in Venice. Today we have these as famous woodblock prints, um, famous designs of, of Venice, um, of mountain views in, in, in Switzerland. And on the way back they also passed Greece. Also from Greece we have woodblock print designs by the artist and the Suez Canal, and there we have even um, prints showing the, the Sphinx um, and, 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 the, and the, the pyramids. Anyway, um, on their way back, they decided to establish their own print business. And well, that was uh, when they were back, that was late 1925. Therefore, 1926 was one of the most productive years in woodblock printmaking for Hiroshi Yoshida. And uh, in this year, he made one of his finest um, prints. And today, the originals, they are very, very rare and very expensive. Well, so much, a little bit background um, about this print. Fuji, um, Mount Fuji, seen from Lake Kawaguchi. Let's take a look at the other one, Taj Mahal night scene. Well, this one was created in 1931. And um, yeah, how? Well, if I had to make um, a, an, an artwork of Taj Mahal, well, I live in Germany, I would not take a ship and now travel to India, I'm a madness. I mean, imagine the costs and, and, and the time. I would just take a photograph. And in 1931, Hiroshi Yoshida could have done that, but he didn't do that. He wanted to sketch from the spot. And therefore, on November 3rd of 1930, he and his eldest son, Toshi Yoshida, they went on a ship that left Kobe Harbor. Um, Toshi Yoshida, who accompanied his father, at that time he was 19 years old, and father and son, they returned a few months later, in February 1931. And according to the art historians and the literature, and we are well, we have um, well information uh, about the background of these uh, woodblock prints today. The main reason for Hiroshi Yoshida uh, for this Indian trip was to make sketches of the Taj Mahal. Imagine, it's un 
Unbelievable. Well, how do we know that? His son Toshi Yoshida later wrote uh, about his experience with this trip. And, well, you think, wow, there was a leisure trip, a little bit of tourism, oh, relax, relaxing from all the art uh, making and, and making woodblock prints and carving and, 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 and so on. No, it was the absolute opposite of a leisure trip. It was the complete stress. And why? To lose no time, Hiroshi Yoshida, um, he, during the, the day, he made sketches and, and paintings as many as possible like a madman. And to lose no time, they took the night train to get from one place to another. And I suppose already also they had to save some, some, some money. Um, in the meantime, they had already established their, their own business and that was a huge investment. I mean, Hiroshi Yoshida had to employ carvers and, 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 and printers and when, when you start a new business, that's never easy during the first years. Anyway, um, back at home, Hiroshi Yoshida rushed to transform these sketches into woodblock prints. And just in a few months, um, they, they created several blocks, uh, of course, in cooperation with carvers uh, with and, and with printers. And July 7 of 1931, an exhibition took place at Mitsukoshi Gallery in Tokyo, um, where the prints of Yoshida's India trip was shown. And on the way by, uh, back, by the way, they also went uh, by the Ceylon, uh, I think it's pronounced Sulon or Ceylon. Sorry for my Bavarian English. And also Singapore. And also from there, we have woodblock prints today uh, with views from, from these countries. Uh, now, a few more words about the Taj Mahal. Hiroshi Yoshida, overall, he had made six different um, print prints, uh, design versions of the Taj Mahal, um, views at different day and night times, and from different perspectives. And this one is the number four of these six, and the title is, do you want to hear my Bavarian star Japanese again? Tsukiyo no Taj Mahal, Moonlight of Taj Mahal. Well, it's a signed um, Hiroshi Yoshida in pencil on the lower margin, and Yoshida on Japanese brush has the artist seal, and again, 1931. Um, an important year in the biography of Hiroshi Yoshida. Well, We've come to the end, my friends. Yeah, the very end, but not yet the end of our auctions, but the end of this video and the end of the current auction number 1700. It will be uh, October 3rd. Uh, we are in the year 2021. And it's really, it's an excellent chance for very rare Shinhanga prints, not only these two by Hiroshi Yoshida, but a bunch others, especially Paul Jacolet and, 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 and a few more. So if you're a collector of Shinhanga prints, and Shinhanga prints are a good buy over the years, even during the financial crisis, 2008, 2009, in contrast to other genres of Japanese prints, they never lost the value. On the contrary, it's a continuous up in value and in prices. Well, thanks for today. Thanks for watching and take care and have a good week. And don't miss this auction, my friends. Goodbye.